Hello and welcome to ZTech Almanac. Today let's build a one transistor audio amp. Now the question is why would I want to build something like this? Well the line audio output that I have coming from a Raspberry Pi is too small so the, when I connect a small speaker um, the audio is too quiet. So this is because you know there's a low voltage maybe less than one volts and of course low power because it's meant, meant to be a headphone jack, meant to be a line output jack. So um, so I want to connect a small speaker but I want a little bit more power aiming for maybe a quarter watt. Um, so I don't want it to be too loud. And I want to use just a few inexpensive parts. I don't have any ICs for audio amplifiers on hand. I don't want to use transformers for sure. Um, and also I want to make sure that um, you know I power this from the 5 volts coming from a Raspberry Pi or obviously you can power it from a USB port as well but I'm gonna use the Raspberry Pi so now let's listen in of just how quiet it is you know without any amplification Okay, so here's the schematic of the small one transistor class A amp that we're building. It's not a power amp per se, but let's call it, you know, power-ish, a small power amp. Um, try to minimize the number of transistors, so kind of choosing here to build something that's super simple, super few components, you know, a couple of resistors. So here um, I have this sort of simulation circuit and, you know, I have the power supply which is 5 volts. I have a sine wave input and then of course I have the speaker simulated as a 16 ohm resistor but instead of the 16 ohm resistor of course we're gonna have a 16 ohm little speaker. And the capacitors I had on hand were 4.7 microfarads uh, so this input capacitor which is close enough to be an input capacitor and of course for the Apple capacitor we want something a little bigger because the impedance is smaller so you know I had a thousand microfarad capacitor from Radio Shack uh, a long time ago, so I'd use that. And then what I've uh, the transistor I have is 2N 3904. That's what I used. You can also use something similar like a 2N 2222, which has a little bit bigger power if you get the one with the metal case. So it might be a little better. It runs a little cooler. The transistor won't heat up. It just gets a little warm, but it won't won't be a problem for any of these transistors. Anyway, to design a circuit like this, um, first you might think, hey, um, all I got to do is make sure if I have five, 5 volts here, I need to get like 2.5 volts here at the collector of this transistor so that I have sort of halfway voltage. Well, in theory that all sounds good, and in practice what that will result in is a lot of clipping in the audio because the transistor is not set at the correct working point and it's not going to be linear at that point when the collector voltage is uh, two and a half volts. So about where you want that voltage to be is 1.5 volts. So across transistors you get 1.5 volts and across this resistor you get 3.5 volts. So basically the rest of the voltage from 5 volts. So and then you can figure out well how many milliamps do I want and you know since this is pretty low impedance speaker I kind of chose a 33 ohm resistor here um, you know to get about 100 milliamps through this you know seems like a lot of milliamps but you kind of need that much because this is a class A configuration and of course then this resistor here the 330 ohm needs to be picked so, such that you end up with 1.5 volts here in a collector so the nice thing about this sort of two resistor transistor configuration is much better than using more resistors because well one it's simple and the second thing is is that um, it does have already feedback built in so we have a negative feedback from the collector to the base through this resistor so that helps the signal quality and um, just the quality of the audio you know coming out so anyway this is the circuit we'll be building now let me show you a little bit on the build process here of how, how that looks like.
Right, so here are the specs. Um, as I mentioned before, we want to have a five volt supply, and it you know takes about 100 milliamps of current to run this thing. Obviously, you can go up and down on the current if you want. If you have a bigger transistor and want to drive a bigger speaker, of course, you can reduce that collected resistor, you know, to increase the current. But I picked 100 milliamps. It's within the spec of the transistor, and it gives gives me kind of the wattage that I want. Um, here's sort of the simulation specs of what I tried to, what I used, you know, so input of 0.14 volts RMS uh, fed in a sine wave uh, for that voltage, and then I got an output of 1.73 volts RMS. So that ends up being a voltage amplification factor of 12.2x, 12.2 times. It's pretty good for a single transistor, uh, certainly very good for, um, you know, just a line out port for a Raspberry Pi or a PC or a, a phone or whatever. It's good enough to drive a small speaker. And of course, if you calculate the power into 16 ohms, which is the impedance of the speaker, you end up with zero point, almost 0 0.2 watts RMS, you know, so not quite a quarter watts that I was hoping, but close enough. And distortion measure my my simulation. It's about one percent uh, total harmonic distortion. Again, it's pretty good. Obviously, this is not a hi-fi amplifier, but it's it's not bad. And of course, you know, I'm using this with Raspberry Pi, but you can use it. You can build this little circuit and use it for pretty much anything. Where you can have a small speaker and you have a th three point five millimeter audio port, uh, headphone jack, etc. You can use it with anything, phone, tablets, laptops, PCs, etc. The only trick is that it does need 5 volts, so you can get that from a USB port. You can just you know, take the power from there, or if you have a board like Raspberry Pi, obviously you can usually have a 5 volt pin there. You can also use an 5 volt battery, but you know, just to get the same amount of milliamps and sort of the 1.5 roughly volts on the collector, you want to change the resistances to 47 ohms. And 470 ohms, so basically a little bit, a little bit higher resistor resistors, because we're running a little bit, you know, higher voltage. Roughly, this is all rough calculations, of course. It, it, it's gonna work even if you change the res resistors a bit, you know, plus or minus. So it's not doesn't have to be super, super precise. You know, at some point, of course, you can the audio will start clipping if you really change the resistors a lot, and then you know that's a good thing to play around with if you want to see what happens if you know, you change the collector resistor or the base or the collector base resistor. So anyway, that's um, that's it uh, for this little amp. Now let's listen and, and see how it sounds like, um, how the audio sounds like with the amplifier connected. Well, hope you enjoyed this small little um, build of this amplifier. Hope you find it useful. I certainly did. I'm using it to have a little more volume from my Raspberry Pi. But uh, let me know if you have any questions and comments. Happy to answer them. And uh, until next time, take care.